delivered games. What's up, guys? I'm back with another squad builder video for you, and uh, today I've gone, I've gone a bit raster, you know, a bit, a bit gallant. Um, basically, yeah. Um, I've decided to make a Jamaican team. Um, you gotta love Jamaicans. We've got, got some decent players in there, I tell you. For a, a little country, they got some decent footballers, well-established footballers in that team. Um, and I'm looking forward to using them, actually, so let's get s straight to it. Uh, we've got Donovan Ricketts in goal, great name. Got ability, you know, silver 65, but uh, hopefully they'll keep you know some goals out between the two sticks and all this. Uh, Sean Cummings, Reading, right back. Don't know if he features that much for them in real life, but uh, he's got a lot of potential, I guess. Um, pace. Uh, Mariapa, you know, quite a good centre-back, uh, quite sought after in... In football, in the Premier League, anyway, um, and yeah, he'll be solid. Cost quite a bit of bob there, but uh, he should be really good. To be fair, uh, Jermaine Taylor. You know, don't really know too much about him, but uh, hopefully he'll be all right. No, 70 pace, and then the left back. He's a bronze star, but he's got 88 pace, so that's why he's a bit, a bit of die. But uh, hopefully he'll do a job. Uh, Gareth McCleary, we all know about him. Reading right mid. He's got ability, 88 pace. You know, look forward to using him. Should be decent. Uh, Marvin Elliott. Good player. Um, I think he plays for Bristol City. You know, just holds the midfield. Rodo, Rodolf, Austin, decent centre mid. Place leads. 82 pace. That'll be nice. And then Javi McEnough, one of the exciting players of this team. 78 pace. He's a bit disappointed with that, but he's got ability. Great player. Had huge potential, potential at one point. Uh, Luton Shelton, don't too, know too much about him, but look at the pace. 94 pace. He's the reason Jermaine Johnson isn't in this team. Because he's got all sorts of pace, so I chose him. Because you've got to be sweaty. And then Jermaine Beckford, you know, four grand with Hunter on, but uh, he should be electric up front and he's going to be crucial to me winning foot matches. But uh, looking forward to using him as well. Decent player. And then the gaffer is that man, Michael Aldrup. Um, he's got a championship thing on him. He was the only one on the market with a championship thing on at the time, so I thought I'd just shove him there. Good job. And uh, straight into a single game I went. Uh, on an online match, I wasn't playing the least game of this because I didn't really fancy them to win games in Division 3 or whatever it was. So, uh, you know, just a single game. And uh, come up against a, a weird team, to say the least. But he's got some good players in there, so he had to watch out for them. But uh, the first chance came to me. Blistering pace from McCleary. Cuts it back, picks out that man Jermaine. And he just sacks. And it's 1 0. You know, with his left foot there. A really smart finish. And, uh, an early lead which gave us that confidence to kick on in this game. You know, it was nice, really nice. Just opens his body up, just tacks, keeping no chance. 1 0 to the boys. And that'll do us. Can't complain. Had a great chance again, not long after. Sweated it in. But uh, couldn't squeeze it in. Bit of defending on the line, a good save there. And then they did get rid, you know, panic stations, you may say. But then we did get another chance, thread it through, Beckford. Just needs to tuck, and that's what he does. He's a goal scorer, he scores goals, and there you go. 2 0. And Tony Cruising, and that did us. It really did us nicely. You know, a bit of a lucky deflection there from the defender, but uh, it was poor. You know, you expect better. And Beckford was sniffing around, and he got the chance and scored. And then once again, we were causing problems. Furry ball. Shelton with that 94 pace, you can't control him on that left foot. Just sacks, and it's free. And look at the acrobatic celebration to go along with it. That pace, I mean, you can't defend against pace like that. You can't defend against it. Once again, causing problems. Beckford this time. Opens his body up. Good save. McCleary on the rebound. Keeper. I don't know why he's dived in the air there. Because, um, yeah, I don't know why. Oh, Shelton. Um, but yeah, if you look at the keeper, I don't know. Be able to tell. But um, basically, the rebounds, you know. He makes a great first save, you know, carries out there. But then look at this. You know, he's a goal on the floor and he dives over the top of it. I mean, you're not going to keep it out like that, Sam. You're not going to keep it out like that. And we've got another great chance. This time, Shelton. Too much pace around the keeper. Penalty. Lucky. Very lucky to not see red here. Um, that ultimate team cheese where keepers can't get sent off. Fucks you over quite a lot, to be honest. Ruddy there. You know, just cynical. Took him out. And I thought, you know, I always do this when I'm cruising. I give it to my keeper. I thought Donovan Ricketts could get on the score sheet. What happens? Put it top corner and Ruddy saves. Disappointing. But, uh, keeper to get back now. So we're still in the attack. 
And a good double save here. They all claim he got the touch in the second one. Look, oh, what a save. Eventually, they sort of clear it. It's a good challenge here. Picks it off. Then just spreads the play through. Clear of all his pace. Allowed to fire one to that top corner. Emphatically. And that was a finish. And uh, you know, made up for the penalty area. Really. You know, Donovan Ricketts, you know, he's disappointed to not get on the score sheet. You know, it would have meant a lot to him. But uh, you know, you got, you got to finish those penalties. And you so uh, he's now 5 0. And that was a score line at half time. Happy days. And once again, causing problems. I'm not a lover crossing it in. I don't really do well for crossing it. Luckily, I get a little rebound here. Comes to out to Elliot, and he just tucks that post in. Great finish from the centre mid. You know, not a massive score of goals, but uh, fire that one in. Posting in, you can't complain. You know, it was six now, and we're really enjoying ourselves. You know, takes a touch, sets himself, and what a finish. Thank you, well saves that. Once again, causing problems, just peppering this keeper really, he's been poor, and look at this. <laughs> uh, he will not be happy with that, whoever's playing this bloke. I mean, I'm gutted my keeper's doing that, I'd probably back out there and then. Thought ping it out to him for enough, it's a good save for keeper. Didn't expect him to do this, he dropped it and I just went, oh, I'll settle. I don't know if by then he'd given up or something, but uh, yeah, he dropped it and Beckham was like, well, I'll settle with complete my hat-trick and do a job. So that's what he did. You know, good finish. Hard to miss, really. It's a uh, 7 0. We're enjoying ourselves. Good double save here, though. You know, the keeper you know, stood up to those shots and got them out for a corner. But uh, this is a great goal. This is a really good goal coming out of here. I see McCleary just peeling away. Picks him out. Takes a great touch. And just fires it into that top corner. The goal of a match is the last one of the match. Gareth McCleary. Firing that one right into the top corner to make it eight. Look at that. You don't save those. You don't save those. And then as I went to see him kick off, you know, he paused it and that meant it was time time up for him. He'd had enough. So which is watching guys, I hope you make this team, it's a ledge. I wouldn't use it in massive games because it's probably not that good, but it's fun to play with, so uh just watching, I'll see you soon.